So this is the final result. The transmission fluid on the right is the new one and the one on the left is the used one. So it has been driven almost 70,000 miles. As you can see here, it seems more liquidy. This seems more viscous uh, and seems like it is containing more contaminants. So the moral of the story, in my opinion, is that you need to change your transmission fluid ever, every 60 or 70,000 miles, regardless of what the manufacturer is saying. Like in this case, Toyota says this transmission fluid should never be changed. You can form your own opinion. So today I'm going to replace the automatic transmission fluid drain and fill for my Toyota Camry 2011 four cylinder SE. Uh, this is the box of uh, ATF WS, world standard ATF from Toyota. I got it from Amazon. It contains six bottles, each of one quart, and each bottle is almost 14 or $15. So I expect that I will be able to drain around two quarts and then use new two quarts to put in. I have prepared a measuring cylinder so that these are milliliters so that uh, when I am going to fill back, I know exactly how much was drained. So let's start. So this is what the packing looks from the inside. This is a sticker. The bottle is of good quality. And here we have markings in milliliters. The total quantity is one quart, which is around 946.946 of a liter. And all the instructions. Safety tips first. As you can see, the car is on these ramps. It is in park and I'm also going to engage the, fully engage the parking brake, which works on the rear wheels. So the car is not going to move anywhere. So this is the driver's side. I am going under the car. And this is the splash shield and these are the two bolts, one and two. This is the transmission. So to remove, so this bolt, 10 mm, I'm going to loosen it. And similarly, the other one, which is here. So both the bolts have been removed. Now I remove this shield. So the shield has been removed. Now remember to be careful when you are doing this and wear safety glasses because dust and uh, maybe small rocks also, which are somewhere here, they start falling. So anyways, this is the bolt, which is the 24 uh, mm bolt. And now I'm going to loosen and remove this. And the reason we uh, remove the refill bolt first before doing anything is if for any reason uh, we have drained the transmission fluid and we cannot open this bolt, then we are in problem. So always make sure first locate the refill bolt of any uh, oil uh, or uh, transmission or engine or anything before you loosen and drain the oil. So I have cracked it open and now I'm going to just remove it with my hand. So the bolt is removed. And now comes the transmission part, draining the transmission. So where is that? This. This is the transmission pan and this is the drain bolt, which requires the 6 mm socket. So the plan is that I will drain the transmission fluid slowly into this and then transfer those measured quantities in this. So I will know it. So while using the 6 mm hex socket, to loosen and open the drain bolt, I realized that it is a little bit loose and it is not of the right size. So most likely it was uh, the inch size and not the mm size. 
Then I got my 6mm Allen key, which fit snugly, and then used a spanner for leverage. Now I'll start removing the overflow tube. So the total amount of fluid which has drained, including the 100 ml of spillage, approximately 100 ml of spillage, the total amount which has come out is 2.7 liters. So I'm going to fill in 2.7 liters now. And before doing that, so now I'm going to install this plastic overflow tube back. Hand tighten it for the first couple of threads and then use the allen key it does not need to be tightened a lot once it is seated just a gentle nudge like this that's it and now i will clean this all and install this bolt back the drain bolt so this is the plastic overflow tube with the 6 mm hex opening. So what it does is, instead of having a dipstick, you adjust uh, the volume of uh, the fluid in the transmission at the correct temperature, which is around 100 degree F, plus minus 10. So, and then at that temperature, a slight trickle from this will mean that the transmission is at the right level. Fluid is at the right. The old washer seems fine to me, so I'm going to use that. I will just clean it. Finger tighten it. Use the Allen key. The tightening torque for this bolt is 30 pound feet. I know by experience how much would that be. And that should be fine. So I have inserted the other end of this pipe in the transmission refill hole. And just to make sure that everything is in place and yes, time to refill. So I am pouring in the new ATF fluid slowly so that it does not overflow. As you can see from the pink color in the pipe, the new fluid is going in. So I have installed everything back and taking car off the ramps. I'll just take it for a test drive and the job is done. Thanks for watching.